And also, if you compare our um, uh, report now compared to a few years ago, of course, AI is much more important than we expect it to be. I find this interesting because uh, it kind of aligns with the work we do here at Energy Media, where we are uh, energy transition theory of change revolves around identifying innovative disruptions and then uh, identifying how they disrupt uh, industries and business models like the automotive industry for example mm. uh, it's pretty hard it's pretty hard to argue these days that the auto industry isn't at the global level isn't disrupted um, mm. and then and then tracking those disruptions through the, the yeah. energy system because what's upstream of the auto automobiles oil my point of view, oh, as you as you progress out to 2060, you can kind of track the progress of, you know, how does it compare to your assumption and then adjust accordingly? Is, is that a reasonable way to look at your modeling? I mean, I think that I wouldn't say that we don't assume technological progress uh, inbuilt in a lot of our uh, variables, particularly both demand and supply are learning rates and also capacity factor changes. So we do assume basically that solar panels and wind turbines will improve. Um, we just don't have inbuilt any enormous technological changes. Um, but of course, there are things that we don't expect. 